This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Joanne Moran with me. You are with Connect Well. Thank you very much. This is your first time here at FYI. It is. It is. Okay. You are, uh, Connect Well is a big agency. You do all sorts of things, but you, your uh, job is a, the Good Food for Healthy Baby Facilitator. Can you tell us what that's about? Um, um, good Food for a Healthy Baby is a prenatal nutrition program. So I facilitate a group every week in uh, four communities, Brockville, uh, Brockville, Smith Falls, Perth, and Carlton Place. Um, and uh, it's morning groups, they're drop-ins. We do have uh, what prenatal, uh, um, prenatal information that is a partner with the health unit, so a public health nurse comes to the, the group. And then on our cook weeks, because we cook every second week, we have a dietitian, and we also have a dietitian from the a health unit as well as Rioto Community um, a, a Center here in Smith Falls. So they support us through making sure that the woman has her dietary needs and the public health nurse makes sure that they have information, current information regarding their pregnancy, and we also support them six weeks postnatally, or uh, sorry, six months postnatally. Okay. Um, as part of uh, Connect Well, we have two prenatal programs, and one is uh, the Birth Companion, and the Birth Companion is a woman that is uh, well, a volunteer that is trained and is able to support the, pre the pregnant woman through her gestation. So, and they are involved with her six weeks postnatally. So it's a very unique program, and uh, I think we do amazing work and we work with amazing women. And it, it's so important during your pregnancy to eat well and eat properly, get the proper nutrition. That's you're, right. You're eating for two, basically. <laughs> you are, you are, so we wanna make sure, and we want them to continue, not just through their pregnancy, but after their pregnancy. Continue that healthy lifestyle, continue healthy eating, and introducing healthy foods to their children. Uh, I, I know as having a child myself, you have to take care of yourself after the baby's born too because you have For to keep sure. strong enough and healthy enough to take care of the baby, especially For if you're breastfeeding. Uh, especially if you're breastfeeding moms, yeah. We always say, you know, like your, your breast milk is as good as what you ingest. So your baby's gonna have good breast milk if you have good, uh, well, healthy eating habits. Excellent, so how long have you been doing this? I've been with Connect Well for well, Connect Well Connections program. I've been 26 years. Excellent. April 1st will be 26 years. Wow, good yeah. for you, congratulations. But, but before doing the Good Food for Healthy Baby, I was doing home visiting, and I was also doing a play group. So that's the other part of Connection, which is the postnatal part of our program. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a great program. You do so, so much. Now we've gone through two, three years of COVID yes. and pandemic, <laughs> and we haven't been able to get together and, and meet other agencies, and you are organizing an event to make That's that happen. That's right. My coworker and I, um, we started to think, you know, like, oh my God, like we're back face to face, and yet we don't even know who our partner agencies are. Like there's been a lot of changes in agencies. We've all had to be creative in providing support to our families that we, we work with. So why not have a greet, meet and greet, and open it to the community? So that way we get to meet our partner agencies, we get to know what is out there, and then so does the community. So we have agencies from zero to six, <laughs> like uh, we, um, we have uh, daycare, we have big brother, big sister, so we have youth, coming in, youth representation. Uh, we have Lanark Community uh, um, Interval House. We have uh, the Senior Center is gonna have a table there. So we're trying to have a representation of everybody in the community. And uh, we had to turn people away. So um, it is our first attempt, and I'm sure it's not gonna be the last. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So this is going to happen on Wednesday, March 8th? That's right. And, and Mayor Panko will be our, our greeter. So we've asked if he could be part of our, uh, our day. And uh, so he has agreed. So if you want to say hi to Mayor Panko, you could come by and say hi to Mayor Panko, as well as meet other people in the community. And so often when you're working in a social services field like yourself, 
you, you, you're working with somebody who may need some help or support from a different agency. That's right. So you'll be able to do some referrals or say, hey, I know who you can call. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And um, that's why I say partner because, and you know yourself when you're working in social field, you need your partners, you need your other agencies to support the community, to support the families. Right, right, right. Now you've got a poster out and it's got some places that, uh, that some agencies that are going to show up and you've even named a few more that I didn't see on your poster. So yes. Interval House, I, that was one that's not, maybe you've updated the poster since I've seen it, but. Uh. Well, no, we had to, um, we had to get the poster out. So we didn't get all of the right. uh, agencies to, we have Ontario Early On Centre. We have Big Brother, Big Sister. Um, connect well, the whole agencies will be represented. So we're talking about uh, infant development, we're talking about behavior, uh, um, formerly known as family relief, but now it's called respite services. Um, we have uh, language, so language is going to be there, behavior. Um, so there's going to be a lot of information and people can come to the day and just enjoy walking around, we'll have like light snacks and bottles, bottled water, and we just want it to be an informative, easy day for people to go. And it's at the community center? The community center, upstairs. Upstairs, yes. upstairs, that's a great yeah. facility too, but it sounds like your agency itself is gonna need a few tables. <laughs> yes, yes, unfortunately, yes, because we are so, such a diverse, uh, well, you do so much. <laughs> yeah, you do so. Yeah, much. I I don't even know all of the uh, all of the um, employees that we have at, at Connect Well because we are so spread out and. And, and once again, it's, it's a great opportunity to reconnect. We've been not being able to see each other for three years almost yeah. because of the pandemic, and uh, it's a great way to, to reconnect. And and I, 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 I because I'm in the social works field as well too. Networking is so important. Yes, to get to know who else is involved in our in our community. Right, you know? and we're so busy. Yeah. We're so busy in our own little silos that we don't have time sometimes just to say hi or you know like and a lot of the trainings were canceled because and I don't know about you although we are <laughs> in front of a camera but I am ready to have face-to-face -face interaction yes. with people I'm I'm done with, uh, with zoom meetings and I'm anxious to start having the ball going and again once you're in this when you're in the social services field you're working with people this works so much better face to face, all yes. reconnecting, you know, not the Zooms, not the yes. you know, team meetings and that sort of thing. It was great, it got us through, but yeah. we're ready. I think it was a band aid, mm -hmm. and now yes. it's time to, to get out there and because uh, we have to learn to live with COVID, and, uh, well, and we have to, we're very fortunate in Smith Falls because we have so many great people working in Smith Falls. So. We do. And it is a grown community, so why not come out and, and see what is available to you? Absolutely. Uh, when In terms of referrals and everything, we're not sending people off to the big cities or anything like that, too. That's right. We may and probably have what you need here right in, in Smith Falls. Yeah. 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 For sure, for sure. Well, I thank you very much for coming here today and, and, and organizing this event. It's so needed, so yeah. needed. So once again, it's on March, Wednesday, March 8th. It's at the Community Center in from Smith Falls from 1 till 3. Yes. And there's light refreshments. There's so many agencies going to be there and we'll be able to reconnect. It's open to the public too. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. That's basically who we want is we want the public to come in because, um, well, you know yourself, you need to be uh, well, engaged with Absolutely. the community, Absolutely. so this it's is time. one way. Yeah, it's and it's time. time. Yes, that's <laughs> For right, sure. that's right. Our jobs took a little w pivot, was the big word, you know, when uh, working in social services, and in every field, and everything you did during COVID, yeah. so yeah. now it's, it's Creative time. planning. That's right, that's a good way of putting it, pivoting and creative planning to that's make, right. make it work, and yes. uh, you're gonna make this work too. So once again, Wednesday, March 8th, one till three at the Community Center, a uh, great event, we're gonna reconnect there's going to be lots of agencies there. It's open to the public as well. That's right. That's right. Is there anything you want to add before we nope. wrap up? No. Nope. Uh, I you, hope you've everybody. got a great Facebook page. You've got a great <laughs> Facebook page. How do people get a hold of you too? That's right. We do have a Facebook, and we are uh, we do have a web page for Connect Well, and uh, well, the town has also put it on their web uh, page and their Facebook page. 
Excellent. So, yes. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for being here and all you do for our community. Thank you.